What is up my ninjas, Dark Frog Ninja here. Today is the day. Gonna have some new frogs. Just got the package home and we're gonna see how they look. Uh, so if you've seen this video, everything turned out fine. Um, but uh, these are mystery frogs. Uh, for some of you, some know what they are, but a lot, most of the majority of you don't know what I got. It's a frog that I've wanted to work with, a dark frog, a uh, particular locale that I've really wanted to work with. They're really special, really cool frogs. Oh, I see them, that's so awesome. All right, all right, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but I know what you're thinking. This is just a Dendrobates Tinctorius uh, Azarius, but you'd be wrong. These guys are Dendrobates Tinctorius Kutari. Um, they are a specific locale. They are located uh, by the Qatari River near uh, Suriname and Guyana. Uh, they are uh, just a specific breed. They look like Azarius. They're blue. They're very dark. There's two different kinds of uh, Qataris. There are the uh, dark morph, which are these guys from UTC, and there's a, a, a lighter morph that's green. They look more like green sips. But they come from the Qatari River. Um, they're a cut-off locale, so basically they are only found here. Um, and they just, uh, you know, they're a special kind of frog. They don't get work with a whole lot in the hobby. You don't get to see a whole lot of them. You get to see a few people with them. But these guys are great. They're one of the most variable tinctorious that there are. They throw a lot of different patterns. Right now, these guys, they will change as they get older. They're about three, four months out of the water. Um, this is the, They throw a lot of dark blue, some black, some sky blue on the hands. It's going to be really neat um, to see them as they grow and change. But here's one. And then the other two are packaged together. Nice. So the other two are right here. They all look spectacular. They're great. Look like they're all healthy. They're all uh, nice looking frogs. They all look plump. Um, no outward signs of any kind of issues, but they look good. These are from uh, Dart Frog Connection from Terran. Uh, I originally got my mints from them, and I've had my mints for about five years now. Um, these guys are about three to four months out of the water. Um, so they will get bigger. They'll almost get the size of my mints, and their uh, color will change a little bit. They're going to get a little lighter here and there uh, as they get older, um, but right now they will stay darker for the most part. Uh, I know that's not the best um, angles that I can get because they're in these cups, but they uh, got, just got shipped overnighted. They look great. I'm really impressed. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to let them go here in a minute, and I'll get some more video of them in their new habitat. So stay tuned, guys. All right, my ninjas, as you can see, they are getting ready to get out. Um, they look really good. They're really healthy, really active. Again, they're like three to four months out of the water. They have this big exoterra for the three of them. Um, um, let's zoom in on this guy. Look at that. Look at that color. Let's see if I can get this to focus because this color is just ridiculously cool. They almost look like um, super blue aratus, but... Um, they have that nice tink body, um, which is really cool. But, uh, I don't know if I can get a good enough, let's see. Hey there, guy. Uh, so I don't, of course it's too early to sex them, so I don't know what I have. I have three, and I know with, uh, Tinctorius it is best to be kept in pairs, uh, but we'll see. You know, uh, there's just three of them, that's a big tank, there's plenty of places for them to hide. So if, uh, worse comes to worst... I, I can separate them if there's fighting when they get older, but um, there's a good chance that they won't because the tank size and because if you raise them, um, if you raise them together, um, usually there's a better chance that they won't fight. Um, I, ha I know quite a few people who have groups of Azirius that live together and don't have any issues. Uh, it depends too on the female-male ratio. Females are more aggressive than males, so if I have one male and two females, chances are I will have to separate um, and uh, you know, go from there. But, uh, you know, these guys are great. Like I said, they're Qatari River. Um, so if you research that, there are, uh, it's a nice river that runs along, um, along, I believe, the west and southwest of Suriname and to the east of Guyana. So it is a pretty cool locale. Again, it's not a morph. These guys are a locale. Uh, I will go into what a lo morph in the locale is in a further, uh, in a later installment of the Dart Discussion. That's right, the Dart Discussion will be back. 
I will uh, have that coming back at you. You're going to get more videos coming this fall. Um, I've been busy with work lately, so I've had no time. But, uh, yeah, so far, so good. These guys look great. So I'm going to move this out. I'm going to throw in their leaf just to give them a leaf because I don't have any magnolia leaves in here. I ran out, so I'm going to have to go out when I get the chance and collect them and go in here. But this is an Exoterra. They have a lot of... Wow, look at that. That is a great shot. That is beautiful. Now you can see on this guy, he does have kind of the Azurius coloring. But at the same time, uh, very dark. Very dark blue. Um, a lot of black. And then the, the feet. I don't know if you could see that. The feet and the toes are sky blue. So there's like three or four shades of blue in here, as well as, um, you know, as, a, as some blacks. But wow. Just look, and they're striking frogs. I know you're saying, I know what you're thinking. It's probably, this setup's too big. I should throw them in something smaller so I can monitor them. Uh, yeah, you know, I could do that. But I would rather, you know, they're all coming from the same spot. I'd rather have them have their giant tank now so they can kind of explore and get used to it together. Because um, if I put them in a smaller thing, that could induce a little bit more stress, aggression. Now in here, they have tons of places to hide, to uh, look around, to basically get adjusted and I want them to adjust to this because this is their home um, and then uh, sorry camera works a little shaky I'm trying to get locations of all three of them there's the other one right there but um so basically yeah they, these guys this is where they're gonna live uh, hopefully I can keep them as the, as a trio oh there we go now you can see the, the, the sky blue on his feet which is really neat and there they go but I'm gonna give them about an hour or so to kind of settle in and then we, um, I'm going to go ahead and feed them. Uh, I was told that they are starting to eat high day flies now, or high day A, however you want to call it, whatever you want to call them. So I have plenty of those. I also have melon gaster flies, um, bean beetles, and springtails as well. There's just plenty of springtails in here, so if they're eating those, they can have those. But uh, that's it, guys. There'll be more pictures, more updates coming soon, and you'll get to see these frogs grow. Everything looks great. Again, these are from DFC Darren, uh, Terran. Uh, he held these for me. I asked for a request them from a while ago because he usually sells the tadpoles. And I said, hey, can you hold back some and then grow them as frogs? Uh, and, and when they get three to four months out of the water, if you could, if you can uh, sell them to me. And he did. He's a great guy. Great transaction. He was worried the entire time he's been in contact with me about them. They look great. Um, so couldn't be happier. So thanks, Taryn. Thanks, DFC. Um, that's it for today. And uh, I'll hopefully, like I said, there'll be subsequent videos coming in the future. This is Dart Frog Ninja. It looks like, actually, this guy, sorry. Looks like this guy was snapping up some springtails, which is kind of funny. So they probably are hungry, so I might actually feed them sooner than I thought. All right, so this is Dart Frog Ninja. Saying, frog on, Katari River.